everyone. Welcome to another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Jeanette. I apologize if I sound congested, but five days ago I came down with a full-on cold for the first time in like two years, uh, which is pretty remarkable because I work in a hospital and I'm around sick people all the time. And normally, at least once a year, I get something really good that knocks me down and takes me out of work for a few days. But I've honestly been pretty good for the past two years, aside from um, some very minor things and just feeling a little bit under the weather. Then just five days ago, this thing hit me like a ton of bricks. And if I wasn't working at my desk, I was sitting on the couch bundled up in a blanket watching the Golden Girls. But I feel better enough now to make a video. So what I wanted to show you today um, was my other staple food that I've been eating this month, and that's mashed potatoes and gravy. So Eric and I are still doing our potato challenge, we're calling it, on the 1st of November. We decided to simplify our diets and pick basically one starch, and we chose potatoes just for their simplicity and because we like them. And we're supplementing with non-starchy vegetables like greens and broccoli and carrots and mushrooms, etc. And we like it. It's very, very simple. There's really no stress or thought behind it at this point. We just, we just make potatoes and that's it. Um, the reason we did that was because we wanted to escape the dietary pleasure trap that we had fallen into. Um, we were still eating a whole food plant-based diet, mostly, but we were starting to eat out at restaurants more often, um, and the food is much richer. We were eating more vegan processed foods, more vegan junk foods, just more than I was comfortable with. What we were doing was totally fine for maintenance when it comes to weight, uh, but I wasn't able to lose any more weight, and I did want to shed just a few more pounds. So what we ended up doing was um, eating this simple diet, which is much lower in fat, and as a result, Eric has lost at least 10 pounds. He hasn't weighed himself in a while, but um, his clothes are fitting a lot different. He looks much different. Um, he's starting to feel it now at this point. And I have lost five pounds, which I didn't expect to lose that much so far this month. Um, but the weight loss has been steady and slow, just as it should be. And we are not starving ourselves one bit. We eat when we're hungry, we eat to satiation, we just keep the diet very simple. Now, we haven't even been 100% rigid with this either. We've been dining out twice a week just to maintain our sanity through all of this. And we're pretty liberal when we go out to eat. We, we pretty much eat whatever we like. I've also branched out into other starches. So I'm eating my savory smoky oats for breakfast and I'm eating rice, primarily in the form of like um, sushi or sushi bowls and the rest of the bulk of my diet has been potatoes and of course the non-starchy vegetables with that. But so far we really like it and we're not looking to stop this anytime soon. We feel really good and we like the slow steady weight loss that we're experiencing so we're just gonna stay, stay on board with this. The recipe I'm gonna do today is something that I've been eating for the past month and that is mashed potatoes and gravy. It's honestly not Eric's favorite meal he just prefers plain boiled potatoes with some seasonings on it. But me, I'm a foodie. I like to jazz things up a little bit, you know, without going overboard because we're trying to keep this simple. Uh, but I came up with a gravy that is um, pretty much fat free. And the nice thing about it is it's flour free. Most gravies are thickened with a flour. And just because I've been eating a lot of potatoes and things like that, I decided to try a potato as a thickener and it worked really well. Okay, so what I do now is I just let that cook on the stove and warm up until that better than bouillon paste dissolves. And then what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of that broth into a blender with um, some potatoes and blend that up really gingerly. Cause if you blend it too much, I found that it can get gummy. So there's like a really fine line there. So blend it up until it just emulsifies. And then I pour that back into the rest of the broth on the stove and heat until it's nice and thick. 
Now the potatoes that I normally use for this are russet potatoes because they're nice and starchy. I don't have any of those today, so I'm gonna take a chance. The only things we have here are red potatoes, and I know they're not quite as starchy as russets, but I'm gonna try. So normally I pick like a medium sized and then maybe a smaller sized potato for this. Um, I really haven't measured them out or anything to know how much they weigh or whatever, but I usually eyeball them. So I take like one medium and one small, and that typically does the trick, at least when I'm using russets. So we'll see what happens. to get it until it's just emulsified and pourable like this and then I pour it back into the broth on the stove. So it doesn't take long at all and then you have some really thick hearty rich gravy that smells amazing. Now on to the mashed potatoes which are really really easy. So obviously what you need are some potatoes and I'm using whatever I have on hand right now. I've done this with russets, with gold potatoes, white potatoes and these are some reds that we had cooked in the instant pot and they've already cooled in the fridge overnight. Um, so I'm just gonna put however many I want in a bowl and I will show you how I do this. Very, very simple. And what I'm making are herbed mashed potatoes and gravy. Is your comforting bowl of mashed potatoes and gravy and to be completely honest I don't think that using the red potatoes made much of a difference at all they're so good guys seriously this is so good so I hope you give this one a try it is so so good if you do make this leave me a comment below and let me know how it turned out and also let me know if you have any tips or tricks on how you do your gravy and mashed potatoes so thank you everyone for watching I hope you had a happy and safe Thanksgiving I Kill Chickpeas is signing off and I will see you in the next video. Bye.